I mean, get off the stage. You're always trying to show somebody up. That's why you and your brothers is going to be up in what I'm cooking tonight. And you can hee-hee with all of that. So, what's going on, y'all? Big Daddy here, Duke Southern Grill. Yo, do y'all like raisin bread pudding? Well, you know what? Truthfully, there's people who love it and there's people who hate it. But I can tell you this. Even for the ones who hate it, if you try mine, you're going to at least like it. Now, I'm lying. You're going to love it. Watch this video, stay with your boy, and learn how to make some real good raisin bread pudding. Be easy. Hey, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Big Daddy. So, check this out. Raisin bread pudding. I hope y'all like it. Because if you already like it, then you're going to love mine. And that's what it's about. Loving what you're eating. And I love what I do. So, I try to make sure that I'm doing it, you know, in a way that is... Not only beneficial for me, but y'all like and subscribe and follow. Don't forget that. But beneficial for you because you're eating something that you're like, wow, I really enjoyed this. And let me pass it along and let people know that, you know, that dude right there, Big Daddy, he got it. He doing the same. So, we're going to start. You need about a pound and a half of some stale bread. Now, to be honest with you, this bread ain't all that stale. But don't remember what I, I told y'all before, right? Don't copy what I do. Just do as I say. Yes, yes, there it is. Actually, the more stale the bread is, um, the less wet it'll be. And it's set a lot better. And uh, that's what you want. You don't want a mushy banana bread uh, pudding. Not banana, raisin bread pudding. <laughs> you know I ain't editing that out, right? That is, that's gonna ride. But um, ironically, even though that was a little slip up right there, there's a, a West Indian version that uh, uses bananas. And while I'm still breaking this up, a friend of mine, Dwayne, his wife one year made uh, some sweet potato bread pudding. Never had anything like that in my life. And um, I, I wanted to recreate it but I didn't want to disrespect the amazingness of her pudding. So I, I, I haven't done it, but um, I think I'm gonna have to recreate it. I don't know if it's gonna taste as well as hers, but y'all see it one day, put it out there. All right, so I got my bread all broke down, I'll be back. So let's get these wet ingredients in here. Crack four eggs. funny y'all out there as you get older your body kind of changes I mean I'm not that old you know what I mean but I'm not I'm not you know 18 20 years old no more but every time it seems like I'm dealing with bread or anything like that that's with my allergies I think I'm getting a bread allergy oh not big daddy big daddy loves bread four eggs all right about three quarter cups of brown sugar cool all right, so you're gonna need a teaspoon of um, cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg. This is my mixed spice, all right? One cup of raisins. Cool. 24 ounces of evaporated milk. All right. Optional, half a cup of pecans. One cup of shredded coconut. Then we're gonna beat all this together. All right. All right, so now take the wet. Add it into your bread. And just take your spoon and just mix this around. Once everything is nice and incorporated, AKA soggy. We're gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes. That smells amazing. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. All right, we'll be back, y'all. Hey, what's up, y'all? So we back. Hey, how's it going, Mom? Oh yeah. I know. 
Yeah, I know. Nana told me. I love you too. Hold on one second, Mom. All right, y'all. So this is what it's supposed to look like. I know. For y'all who never made it, probably look a little weird, right? A little, hate to say it, but like non-appetizing. But this is what it's supposed to look like, and it's going to cook up and have a nice color to it, nice and firm, and be very, very tasty. This is actually a meal that if you have kids, your nieces and your nephews, stealing somebody else's kids for a day or so, y'all should have them make this. It's real simple. And sometimes, you know, kids like to get their hands on messy and stuff like that. And they can squish up the bread and, you know, whatever. All of that good stuff. Keep them off the internet and they cell phones for a minute. You know what I mean? So, 350 degrees in the oven for about 35 to 45 minutes or until a wooden skewer comes up clean. And we'll see y'all when this come out. All right, be easy. Hey, what up, y'all? So, here it is. That's it. Right? Looks good, right? My daughter said it looks like a giant oatmeal cookie. I don't know about an oatmeal cookie, but you know, she has more imagination than I do. So, I just wanted to show y'all something real quick. I normally don't do this, but. Yeah, that's nice and clean. Probably should let this cool. What you thinking, baby girl? I'm thinking you should have let it cool. Think so? I just wanted to show the people the inside. Oh, that looks delicious. That's 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 why I'm doing it. I'm doing it for the people. Doing it for the folks. Doing it for the folks. Y'all see that? Look good? That looks beautiful. Look beautiful? Alright, I'm gonna set this back down in that slot so I can let that finish cooling. This one is y'all to see what it looked like on the inside because if y'all have never made this before, then, you know, I could say firm and y'all don't know what firm is, you know, my firm and your firm may be different. And then guess what? You've got a sloppy mess. Just because it's, you know, raisin bread pudding doesn't mean that's supposed to be loose and sloppy or anything like that. So I just wanted y'all to see it does come up nice and firm, does come up clean, and um, it's going to be some good eating with this coffee. Yo, thank y'all for watching this video. I hope y'all cooking along with it because I did drop the ingredients in the directions. I hope y'all have fun. Y'all, it's a crazy, crazy world out there. Trust me, I know because I live with my wife. <laughs> y'all be safe, be easy.